Hi, today we will talk about productivity and peak performance. Now this is a subject which has been vastly popular in Life Plugin Tribe and we want to address it with this video. Now there are different tools and practices that we can use at a, on a daily basis to sort of like align all our guns to, to fire in the same direction to, to maximize the impact behind the efforts that we put in. And you can do it through optimizing your environment or optimizing your body. Or in this case of this video, I want to talk about how to optimize uh, your mind to, to sort of operate from a place of peak performance and productivity. And what I want to give you in this video is a simple 300 second exercise. Five minutes, no more. It's very, very simple. Not easy, but simple. And that is uh, the premise behind the exercise is so powerful that it has dramatically shifted my life. The, the reason why it is so meaningful to me and why I love to talk about it. The amount of money I make, the depth of relationships I enjoy, the kind of work that I do, uh, my body, every single thing is just exploded. And I can't wait for you guys to experience this. So as we dive into this, what I want to tell you is the mechanisms that we will be using which are behind these exercises. So as you do this exercise every single day, you understand why this is so important. And we'll be primarily using two mechanisms. First one is the mechanism called the reticular activating system. It's already embedded in our brain. And what this system does, it acts like a filtration system where it, it gathers all the information, it passes through it, and it takes all the information that it deems not important, lets that go, and only captures the thing that it deems important and it feeds that information to our conscious mind. Now, when we are operating from a place of, you know, just going through the motions and every single day, just wake up, shower, have breakfast, head to work, or what have you, we are losing on a big opportunity to kind of train our reticular activating system. And to kind of get an idea of what a reticular activating system is, RAS for short, it's this cliched example where, you know, when you decide to buy a car, you made a decision, okay, I'm gonna buy a, a Volkswagen Polo. Moment you've decided, you go on uh, after, like in the next two to three days, you start going on the, on the highway and you start seeing that car everywhere. Not only that, you see it in the parking lots and you think like, what happened? I never saw that car before and I start to see it everywhere now. And the idea is that it's not that you didn't see the car, but you didn't see it for what it was. And because once you made that decision, this is important, your reticular activating system starts to notice anything related to that idea that you told your told that system that it's important, right? So that's how it works. And we want to use RAS for a very specific function, not to just set a powerful intention. Of course, that's really beautiful and really useful. But what we want to use it for is to create positive momentum and kind of create like a snowballing effect as we do this exercise every single day and the momentum keeps on getting bigger and bigger and you get like bigger and bigger returns as you do this exercise for, for a longer period of time. Now, the second uh, tool that we'll be using is, is called the heightened positive emotions, right? So there's, uh, the reason why we use them is because when we are operating from a place of heightened emotions, especially positive emotions, they, are, they activate our, learning, our brain learning center. So we learn faster, learn easier, we are less stressed. And not only all the beautiful benefits of positive emotion, when we are using and combining our positive emotions with, uh, with our morning routine to sort of uh, get the maximum result in the area that we are trying to improve in our life, it acts as a rocket fuel. Right, so these are the two tools that we will be, two mechanisms uh, that will be embedded behind the exercise that we are about to do. So you guys ready? So every single day, we will be answering three questions to ourselves. Now you can do it through a process of journaling in your, in your, in your notebook or in your computer, or better yet, in your meditation with your eyes closed in a relaxed state, you'll be answering these three questions. Or even better, or try to tweak it or experiment with it say it in front of the mirror by looking yourself in the eyes, All right? So, and these are the three questions. First one, I am proud of you for five things. Five things I'm proud of you for. You say that or do you tell yourself, I am proud of you for this, 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 right? Especially when, uh, so it's basically in the context of you reflecting the last 24 to 48 hours, right? Second is five things I forgive you for. I forgive you for it. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one is I commit to you that. That's it. Five things you're proud of yourself for. 
five things you forgive yourself for and five things you commit yourself for that day. Every single day, that's it. In the context of the area of your life that you want to improve. Now that could be improving the depth of relationship with your partner or improving your, or getting better at your job or improving your learning capacity or getting fitter in your life or what have you, right? Whatever area that you've set important for your brain, that's already there in your reticular activating system. Now what we want to do is that we want to build a positive momentum. So when we say, I am proud of you for, like what, you, uh, what you're telling your brain to notice is all the positive things that happen in the context of the thing that you said are important. Because our default tendency is the opposite. Our default tendency is to see always the negative proof. Every single time, like for, I've, I've been speaking around the world now, I've been professionally speaking for the last three to four years, and I've been dabbling about public speaking for the last 11 years. Right? For the first seven, six to seven years, my brain was programmed and I was so hyper aware of every single time I would make a mistake on stage or I would bomb on stage or something wouldn't work or like somebody else would be better. My brain was constantly noticing those things. And what we want to do, and then what happened, my reticular activating system, every single time something wrong will happen on stage, it will be like, see, that's wrong. See, you're not good. See, the other person is better. See, you failed here. See, you bombed there. Right? So my brain is naturally default state because we are, as human beings we are naturally loss aversive. Right? So we are always looking at the negative more than the positive. That's normal. That's human. But we can train that to look at the positive proof. And what happens is over time, like from in my example of speaking, I started documenting, journaling the same things. What are the things I'm proud of? What are the, some nice things that people told me? What are some nice moments that happened on stage which, where I had a nice improv conversation? Something. Right, And over time what started happening that I was journaling every single day, I was journaling every single day and as I'm going on stage, as I'm teaching more, my brain would start noticing positive association. Every time a positive interaction would happen, I would immediately register and it will go into my conscious mind. That's true. That's true. That's true. So we, what we are trying to do is use our RAS to build a positive momentum in the habit we want to be hyper productive in, perform at a massive uh, world-class level in whatever that might be for you you do that you can do it for public speaking you can do it for teaching I did the same for my learning capacity I did the same for my my health and fitness I did the same for my relationships right so it can be applied to anything but the reason why you do I am proud of you for is to start training your brain to look for the positive to look for positive proof because every single day no matter where you are in life I am certain that there are positive proofs once you've decided that you want to do something for your life Right? So this is using the power of RAS to build that positive momentum and snowboarding effect. And the second is to acknowledge that you're human. So you forgive yourself for five things. It doesn't have to be in the context of uh, the thing that you want to be massively productive for. It is to remove the, the negative emotions blocked within our system, which every time we, we, uh, we beat ourselves up the most. Right. So this is something that we want to let go of and we want to think about five things that we forgive ourselves for. In the, when I was doing it for my health and fitness challenge and I was using this similar sort of exercise, every now and then I would eat something that I'm not supposed to, uh, especially when I was on a very strict regime and I had to be, we were all running a challenge to get to like six pack abs. So it was a very strict regime, right? And I would falter here and there or something would happen and we're all humans. So if I, if I dwell on that thought, even subconsciously, if I don't speak it out, not let it go, it will stay with me and it would influence my results of the action. It would influence my actions that I would take the following day and then the following day and then the following day. So every single day we want to release these things that have showed up and it's just to acknowledge that we're all humans. And the last thing is five things that I commit to you for. Commit uh, that I commit to in my daily in in my daily life, right? And these are the this is what I mean that I say realigning your guns. And uh, the first two questions are to load the gun, lo uh, put in the ammunition. And the last part, okay, I commit to you today again that I would do so 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 and so. So these are the three questions that I would urge you to reflect on: five things that you're proud of, five things that you forgive yourself for, and five things that you commit to you every single day. I hope this exercise is meaningful and useful to you. And I guarantee you, if you continue to do this for the next three to four weeks, your brain will start automatically 
observing or doing this exercise 24 7 subconsciously because you've done it enough times it becomes a habit already so much so that you don't have to wake up and take out the pen you, the moment it happens you acknowledge it the moment some mistake happens you also acknowledge to forgive yourself so i hope this exercise is meaningful to you and i'm looking forward to hearing stories of people all the people who continue to do this for a week two weeks three to four weeks and you would start seeing dramatic changes in the kind of result that you get from the efforts that you put in because it is a snowballing effect it starts small it may just feel a bit uh, you forcing yourself into it but i guarantee you this will dramatically shift your life so i wish you all the best with this exercise and i'm really really looking forward to hearing your results